Hi children. Today you are going to learn eighth class, third chapter that is construction of quadrilaterals. In that exercise number three point two, when three sides, sorry, four sides and one diagonal is given. In the exercise three point one, we have learned that how to construct a quadrilaterals when four sides, one angle is given. Here there is no angles. With same four sides, one diagonal is given. How to construct? So, as we discussed in the previous video, that minimum we required is five measurements. So, as we have here four sides and one diagonal completely, five measurements we have. So, without any inconvenience, we can draw our construction. So, as I said you that to draw the constructions, we have to follow three minimum steps. That one is first one is rough sketch. The second one is Fair sketch. Then after construction steps. These are the three steps we have to follow. First of all, let us see the questions which are in the exercise number three point two. So there are four questions here overall. I will do any of the two questions from this exercise. The remaining two you have to try to do it. So I will be going for C. Question number C. We have to draw the parallelogram. Parallelogram. A parallelogram ABCD. ABCD is a parallelogram. In that AB equal to six centimeter and AD equal to four point five centimeter. Then and BD equal to 7.5 centimeters. So you can ask that, sir. We are discussing about the four sides and one diagonal, but here there have been only two sides. So what about the remaining two sides? So what about these? Here there have been one diagonal. BD is a diagonal. Suppose if you draw a parallelogram, a rough parallelogram here, let me draw. Suppose this is a parallelogram of ABCD. This is a parallelogram. So Here BD is known as a diagonal. The BD is given. So in the parallelogram, opposite sides are equal actually. So AB equal to given six centimeter. Then CD equal to also six centimeter. By using properties of a parallel. And AD equal to given four point five centimeter. Then BC equal to also that is four point five centimeters only. By using properties of a parallelogram, we'll get the other two sides. So the C1 and D1 are going to be explained in this. So first step is that we have to draw the rough sketch. Sorry, rough sketch. So what is the rough sketch? First thing, see that BD is a diagonal. Mention that either B or D should be on the base. So let us take AB will take it so that B will be on the base. I am not going to take AD as a base so that D will be on the base. So you can also take CD on the base so that D will be on the base. So this is a BD is a diagonal. So we have to be mention that the one of the B or D should be on the base of this parallel. So let us take AB equal to six centimeter. AB equal to six centimeters as a base of this parallelogram. Then AD equal to four point five centimeters. Does we have A on that? Yes, we have A. So that we can try for locating D. So you take a four point five centimeter radius on the compass, keep it A and draw an arc. So there will be D somewhere on this arc. We don't know the exact position. Now. Here B D equal to four point five centimeter. Does we have B there? Yes, we have B. We can locate for D. Okay. So B D equal to seven point five centimeter radius. You take as a compass and keep it B. Draw an arc. It will be intersect here. So the intersection point will be located as a D. So now you can see here. You can add A D and B D. One triangle is constructed. This is A construction of triangle also we can see when we are constructing 
A quadrilateral here with a diagonal will also get a triangle here. Okay. Now again, there are some measurements. C D equal to six centimeter. We have a C here, no, but we have a D. So we take a six centimeter radius on the compass, keep a D, and draw an arc with a radius six centimeters. That means there will be C somewhere on this arc. And next, B C equal to four point five centimeter. You take a radius of 4.5 cm, keep it B and draw an arc. So it will be intersected here. The both arcs are intersecting. So the common point you have to locate is a C and joint BC and DC. So it will be 4.5 cm and this will be 6 cm. Now the required quadrilateral parallelogram is ABCD is ready here. So let's draw the first sketch of this diagram. Simple. But we have done there the same thing. I am going to be doing it here. First of all, let us take AB equal to six centimeters. AB equal to six centimeters on the radius. Sorry, as it is, it is A and B. AB equal to six centimeters. Now, what we have to take C here that we have completed. Now, AD equal to four point five centimeters. We have a, but we can locate the d. We have a, no? so that you take it a d equal to 4.5 centimeter as the radius on the compass. So let us take it. 4.5 centimeters have to take the radius by using compass and the ruler. Take exactly 4.5 centimeter radius by using a ruler and compass. So I have taken it. So I have to locate. A D equal to 4.5 centimeter, but we don't have a D here, but we have a A. So keep it the one tip of the compass at A and draw an arc. Simple. That is we have completed. There is D somewhere on this arc. We don't know the exact position of D. Keep it aside for some time. Being. Now B D equal to 7.5 centimeter. Now this is completed. B D equal to 7.5 centimeter. Now we have B here. So that's enough. One of the alphabet is present here. So we can locate the other alphabet that is D. So that is B D equal to 7.5 centimeter. You take a 7.5 centimeter radius on this compass. Yes, I have taken a 7.5 centimeter radius. I am going to be drawing an arc with a 7.5 centimeter. So the both arcs are intersecting at this point. That means this is a common point of D. Yes, we got the D. Now you can locate or not. You can join here A D. And you can also join this D. Now this is exactly 4.5 centimeter, and this is 7.5 centimeter. Again, the construction of parallelogram is not completed. We have the other two measurements also. Now let us take is C D equal to 6 centimeter. We have a C here, no, but we have a D. With the help of D, we can locate the C now. So what we have to do it now? Again, we have to take a compass. And we have to stretch this compass with the radius six centimeters. We have to take the radius of this compass as a six centimeters. So I got a six centimeter radius. I'm going to draw this. Yes. Yes. Now this C D is completed. Now B C equal to four point five centimeters. We don't have a C here completely now, but we have a B. So putting one tip of this compass at B. And by taking 4.5 centimeters, 4.5 centimeters as a radius, we'll be trying to locate C now. Keep it B and draw now. The both arcs are intersecting each other at this point. This is a common point of both arcs that is C. Now we have to join C D and B. This is exactly 4.5 centimeter. And this is six centimeter. Now the required parallelogram ABCD is ready with four sides and one diagonal BD. So we have to write the construction steps here. What we have done the same thing step by step, step by step. Write the construction step with a eight construction step, construction step or seven construction step. You write what you are doing in the same step by step. You write here that will be a construction steps. I hope you understood that what I have done here. Simply, we have to take one by one, one by one measurements. If one of the measurement not possible, you go for the next one and do it. The 
not possible the inconvenient measurement you take it at last that will be possible if you go by step by step step by step the construction is very easy you can do it only the thing we have to take the radius exactly without disturbing this radius we have to draw an arc this is the simple thing now let us try to draw the next one of this exercise there is a one more question again constructions are very easy if you try to do it step by step you will get answer without any mistakes like d1 here we have to construct a rhombus here rhombus n i c e so here n i is equal to 4 cm we have given an and and is nothing but here it is exactly a diameter only 5.6 cm so simple to try to draw the rhombus first n i c e is a rhombus n i c e is a rhombus with all the sides are equal in the rhombus we know that all sides are equal in rhombus their e i sorry i e equal to that is 5.6 cm simple now let us draw it where we got only n i equal to 4 cm then i c is equal to 4 cm this is completed c e equal to 4 cm this is completed then n e equal to 4 cm see that now we got 1 2 3 4 4 sides and one diagonal now we can construct a rhombus here first of all you take it n i here n and here i that is 4 cm as a base of this rhombus and see that i e we have height on that so we can locate the e with the radius 5.6 cm we have to keep it the tip at i and draw on an arc so there will be e somewhere on that arc i c equal to 4 cm again we have a i so you take a 4 cm radius keep it i draw the 4 cm on arc then c e we don't have a c we don't have a e keep it aside n e equal to 4 cm yes we have a n and we have to locate the c we take a 4 cm radius and draw an arc it will be intersecting it here so see that here e is n e equal to what n e equal to 4 cm again now you can also join this i e i e equal to 5.56 cm that is diagonal now see only one arc is left you cannot join like this because we don't know the exact position of that c so how can we locate c this is one left actually c e equal to 4 cm we have a e now exact position of e but putting a one edge of the compass at e we can locate the c now we take a 4 cm on the compass keep it at e and draw an arc it may be intersect here this you locate as a c now you join ec and ci as a four cylinder now the required rhombus is ready the rhombus will comes like a same like a square when you just slightly if you rotate it look like say rhombus okay now let's draw the face sketch of that first of all you take a 4 cm radius now you have to know that how we have drawn these remaining three measurements by using properties of a rhombus by using properties of a rhombus we have drawn this three again okay let us go for as a n i is equal to 4 cm n i equal to 4 cm as a base of this n and i equal to 4 cm as a base of this rhombus then i e equal to 5.6 cm you take a compass now take the 5.6 cm 
as a rhombus uh, 5.2 cm radius to take on the compass now you keep it i we have to locate e so there will be somewhere on the e here we don't know the exact position of the e so leave it like that then you go for now ic equal to this two are completed ic equal to we don't have a i yes we have a i here as ic equal to 4 cm again you take the 4 cm radius other this is a 4 cm only i'll take this exact radius yes i'll keep it i i'll rather see you don't try to join this because this both will be not intersecting this is a diagonal arc actually this is a side arc yes should not disturb the radius yes we have completed this now we also completed that ic equal to 4 cm ec sorry ce equal to we don't have a c and we don't have a e leave it like like that only for a time being n e equal to 4 cm we have a n n e equal to 4 cm now again you take a 4 cm radius draw an arc from n e yes these both are intersecting each other at e here it will be e now you can join this n e equal to 4 cm and i e equal to 5.6 cm and we left one thing actually c e equal to 4 cm again so we have to take a compass again you take the 4 cm radius on the compass keep it e and draw an arc so c without disturbing the radius yes the both arcs are intersecting each other actually at here yes now the intersection of points of both arcs will be c now you can join c e and i c it will be a 4 cm and 4 cm slightly you rotate it looks like it's a rhombus with all the sides are equal and diagonal 5.6 cm so our required rhombus is ready that is n i c e with the given measurements so if you do it step by step it will be very easy the remaining two problems from this exercise i hope you can do it just practice you get it so are not you see before this exercise there will be some problems they have done it without a protractor actually with protractor you do it and go for step by step you take it one measurement then after you take a next measurement if next measurement alphabets are there or not if there you have to draw it if there is not present our alphabet on a diagram then leave it you go for the next day next measurement then you go for the next measurement so you have to take all the measurements then you will get a, a quadrilateral complete coordinates so you need a practice to get a complete idea if you practice twice and thrice you will get complete idea so i hope you understood that how to construct the quadrilateral arc with the four sides and one diagonal in our next video let us learn that the different kind of a quadrilateral construction of quadrilateral till that time keep practicing and keep learning bye